This is the Intel NUC 13 Extreme i9 edition. And I really like this box. And I'm gonna talk about some issues and of course, one critical flaw that I'm gonna try and attempt to fix. So first thing is, great system. It's too bad that Intel killed it off. They gave it to Asus. We don't even know what the future is. Apparently Asus says they won't ever make a version like this again. They'll probably focus on smaller versions or maybe a competing product. But this is with the RTX 6000 ADA that I installed in there. And I've also upgraded the fans because the stock ones are pretty terrible. These are the Noctua fans. I've installed a second one. They give it better cooling performance. So everything is all really good. However, there is a critical issue I noticed with the PCH. This is the PCH chip right here. And when it gets really hot, I notice that audio and certain things start to lag or sputter or crackle. So I'm gonna show you how that, I have a theory that it should be able to be fixed. So, and I've already disassembled a lot of this part of the nut part, so the compute board. And there's probably instructions online how to do that, but you got to remove a lot of different screws and be pretty careful. Keep track of them because there are different screws out there. But nonetheless, there is a PCH heatsink. So PCH stands for plat Platform Controller Host, um, not Pacific Coast Highway. Um, but, or, uh, so yeah, there's a heatsink right here. And the problem is that there is an air gap between right here. So the heat basically will transfer from the chipset to here and it has no way to properly uh, conduct or transfer out to the long plate over here. So a remedy fix that I have is that if I get some thermal putty and I put the fill in the air gap between here, this should perform a lot better on cooling. You could also use like a, maybe a thin copper sheet, but underneath it's thinned uh, lines underneath it. So let's gonna, we're gonna remove this and you're gonna see the bottom of the heat sink. So remove these two thin Phillips screws. Um, you're gonna use a Phillips number, uh, I believe it's a number, this is a number one screwdriver, a uh, little bit right here. I can put that in the video link description. Essentially, we will remove this thing very carefully and you'll see that there is a thin section. We're gonna fill this part with some thermal putty as essentially what's going on here, you see right here, it doesn't mate perfectly on here. So there's a lot of big air. So we know air doesn't uh, conduct heat very well or barely at all. So we fill this thing with some thermal putty and we're gonna do that. And this, and I'll put this part number in the video. So we take this thermal putty from up siren and we place down there. You don't wanna use thermal grease, mainly because it can get messy and move around. Um, so you want something that's kind of uh, more solid, we'll say. You could also use some thermal epoxy. I don't recommend doing that because that means the heat sink gets stick or gets stuck there permanently. So we take this little spatula right here, nice little putty right here. And we're just gonna spread it a little bit on the back. Uh, basically like a consistency of Play-Doh, kind of cool. So once we place some thermal putty in the middle, yeah, I just put it back and then let the pressure of the screw um, fly in it out and distribute the paste evenly. Try to avoid touching the thermal, thermal pad on here and then let the thing do the rest. So yeah, you'll see some of it right between there. So this should ensure better contact uh, between the back plate and the heat sink from here. And I think this is a critical or a flawed design from the Intel NUC. I've had to do some research online to double check what was it going on. And I think this is probably the culprit and this should probably fix uh, some of the issues with the high temperature PCH. And even if you have a fan blowing on the back of here, it doesn't really help with cooling because the heat can't get out because there's an air gap. Add that little element there, the little thermal putty, and you should be pretty much good to go and just assemble it back in reverse order. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day.